Rita Skeeter was a witch journalist who specialised in writing poison pen stories. These stories tended to be based on false information and misreported interviews while she worked for the Daily Prophet as well as authoring a few tell-all biographies. She had a respectable fan base as many people believed her version of events even if they were inaccurate. This is the life and lies of Rita Skeeter. Rita Skeeter was born in 1951. Little is known about Skeeter's childhood. Her hometown is not stated nor any background on her or her parents heritage. It is assumed she was at least half-blood and attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Although her house is unknown, due to her overwhelming ambition to become a journalist and sheer determination of perfecting her animagus form, it would not be a surprise to learn that she was sorted into Slytherin House during her Hogwarts days. During her early days as an author, Skeeter wrote a biography on Armando Dippet entitled Armando Dippet, Master or Moron. It was presumably an exaggerated history of him to gain controversy and, by extension, popularity and fame. This book turned out to be a bestseller, with numerous copies sold. Also, sometime in her early career, Skeeter provided a quote for the critical acclaim for Quidditch Through the Ages by Kenilworthy Wisp when she wrote, I've read worse, as a review. Skeeter was a journalist at the time of the First Wizarding War when Lord Voldemort was in power. In 1981, at the fall of Voldemort and the end of the war, Skeeter reported on the Death Eater trials before the Council of Magical Law of people such as Igor Karkaroff and Ludovic Bagman. Rita was a guest speaker at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry during the 1986-87 school year. Prior to the reveal, the identity of the speaker generated quite a buzz throughout the school, with guesses like the person being an aura, the minister for magic, or a random arithmancer. Professor Minerva McGonagall introduced her to the school in the Great Hall, with Rita adding a bit more detail, stating herself to be a widely popular writer for the Daily Prophet. She then gave a speech about the Wizarding World, being curious about the happenings within Hogwarts. Cursed faults aside, there apparently were talks about Hogwarts having the most promising assemblage of students in years, and that in order to find out who the brightest student was, Professor Dumbledore had given the Prophet permission to observe and conduct a friendly competition, with the winner featuring on a front page article in the Prophet to start. Rita then observed potions, transfiguration, flying and charms classes, much to most of the instructor's annoyance. Rita also covered the International Confederation of Wizards Conference during the summer of 1994, describing Albus Dumbledore as an obsolete dingbat. That year, Rita was given the opportunity to interview the Triwizard Tournament contestants for an article in the Daily Prophet. Under the guise of interviewing all four champions, she confronted Harry Potter in a broom cupboard where she took his ums and errs and invented her own quotes. Eventually, her interview of the contestants turned out to be a highly falsified story of simply Harry himself. The article painted Harry as a tragic hero who cried himself to sleep over his late parents and who had a romantic relationship with Hermione Granger. The article was mostly taken negatively by Harry's schoolmates, who assumed he was simply craving attention. Although Molly Weasley seemed to take it very seriously, to the point that she was particularly cool towards Hermione for a time until Harry assured her that the article was lying and that he and Hermione had never dated and were just friends. At some point after the first task, Albus Dumbledore had banned Rita from entering Hogwarts Castle altogether. Rita then interviewed Rubius Hagrid, asking many questions about Harry that Hagrid refused to answer. Her subsequent article described Hagrid as a ferocious looking man who used his authority to terrify his students, but was otherwise mostly true. The article also revealed to the world that Hagrid was actually half giant, which prompted letters from parents frightened by the idea of having a dangerous giant teaching their children and it greatly upset Hagrid, subjecting him to ridicule and fear. 
although his mood was rallied when Harry, Ron, Hermione and the Dumbledore visited him and assured him that they didn't care about his family being the vicious monsters everyone believed them to be. Giants really were vicious and brutal, but Hagrid obviously wasn't, so Professor Dumbledore insisted Hagrid deny any insults and return to work, as Harry and his friends didn't care about Hagrid's family due to their knowledge of him as a person. Harry, Ron and Hermione overheard Rita discussing the possibility of writing an embarrassing story about Ludo Bagman, head of magical games and sports. When Rita encountered Harry, Ron and Hermione in Hogsmeade Village, Hermione insulted her for her libel. Rita, in retaliation, then wrote a nasty story about the devious Miss Granger, based on false rumours provided by Pansy Parkinson, making her out to be a plain but skilled witch who used love potions to satisfy her taste for celebrity wizards. Rita implied that Hermione was toying with the affections of both Harry and Victor Crumb. Although Hermione was more disdainful than upset about the article, she unfortunately started receiving angry mail from people who believed Rita's lies. Some of the hate mail even came with jinxes and curses. Even Molly Weasley was upset with her until Harry set her straight, as I previously mentioned. Rita's last defaming article stated that Harry was disturbed and dangerous, and used comments from Draco and his Slytherin cronies as its basis. Ultimately, Hermione discovered the means by which Rita spied on others and forced her to keep her quill to herself for a full year, by catching her in her beetle form while she was perched on the hospital wing window and trapping her in a jar imbued with an unbreakable charm so she couldn't transform back. Hermione threatened to Rita that she would report her to the authorities as an illegal animagus to the Ministry of Magic, which would have severe legal consequences. Rita was forced to comply and suffered financial strain as a result. Unfortunately, her last article would discredit Harry and serve as the basis for Cornelius Fudge to refuse to believe Harry's story about Voldemort's return that would start a Ministry smear campaign against himself and Dumbledore. In 1995, Harry Potter's story that Lord Voldemort had returned was not believed by much of the wizarding world, as the Daily Prophet portrayed him as either a delusional boy or attention-seeking liar. Hermione Granger wanted to get the truth to the public, and thus instructed Rita to meet her and Luna Lovegood in Hogsmeade on February 14, 1996 in the Three Broomsticks Inn. As it was Rita who laid the foundation for the Prophet's defamation of Harry with her initial stories about him, Hermione wanted her to be the one to set the record straight. They were joined by Harry after his date with Cho Chang. Harry thought that Hermione and Rita were the unlikeliest pair of drinking mates he could have ever imagined. Rita was initially taken aback that Hermione wanted her to interview Harry, and then resentful since Hermione demanded that she only write exactly what Harry said and not portray him as the rest of the press was. Rita claimed the Prophet would not buy the story, reluctantly admitting that the Ministry of Magic was influencing it. Hermione told her that the interview would be printed in the Quibbler, which Luna Lovegood's father edited, and although Rita responded with disdain, she eyed Hermione shrewdly for a few moments and then agreed. However, when she learned she was expected to conduct the interview free of charge, she was furious. Because Hermione was able to blackmail Rita with the threat of reporting her as an unregistered animagus to the ministry, Rita grudgingly complied and wrote the article. The interview was subsequently printed in the Quibbler and became its best-selling issue of all time. It was banned at Hogwarts by High Inquisitor Dolores Umbridge, which seemed to only increase its popularity. Editor Xenophilius Lovegood sold the article to the Prophet after the Battle of the Department of Mysteries when Voldemort's return became public, and he and his daughter Luna used the money to travel to Sweden in search of the crumple-horned Snorkak. Rita made a brief appearance at the end of the 1996-97 school year, clutching a notebook at Dumbledore's funeral in June 1997. It was, perhaps, her being present at the funeral that prompted her to write a biography of Albus Dumbledore, as within just four weeks, Skeeter wrote a 900-page tell-all biography about him. It was entitled, The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore, 
which also included authentic old photos of the famed Hogwarts headmaster. The book depicted the former headmaster in an extremely negative light, but was mostly based on truth, much to Harry's horror. It was implied that she got some of her information in an unethical or illegal way, as much of the book's content was obtained through an interview Rita conducted with Bathilde Batty Bagshot, a very elderly historian, where Skeeter used Veritaserum to gain information about Dumbledore's childhood. Skeeter stole photographs from Bagshot as well, and the subsequent novel sensationalised everything, implying that Dumbledore had dabbled in the dark arts and contributed to the death of his sister. It turned out that Rita got at least some of her facts straight for once, but had no idea of the true story, such as claiming that Ariana Dumbledore was a squib, when in reality she suffered from uncontrollable bursts of magic due to a highly traumatic experience that happened when she was around six years old. Following Voldemort's death, Skeeter wrote a biography of Harry Potter that was only about one quarter true, as well as one about Severus Snape entitled Snape, Scoundrel or Saint. The latter added to her series of hatchet jobs on former headmasters of Hogwarts, along with the life and lies of Albus Dumbledore and Armando Dippet, Master or Moron. Rita wrote a gossip column in the Daily Prophet about the Quidditch World Cup on July 8th, 2014, in which she mentioned that she was about to publish a new book about Dumbledore's army at the end of the month on July 31st, entitled Dumbledore's Army, The Dark Side of the Demob. Rita reported live from the final of the 2014 Quidditch World Cup in the Patagonian Desert on the 11th of July. Instead of focusing on the players, she spent a match trying to spy on VIP Box 2, in which the most prominent members of Dumbledore's army were watching the game. Ginny Potter, with Rita at the journalist's enclosure, repeatedly made corrections to her reports, until shortly after the match ended, Rita remarked that her husband Harry was publicity hungry. Just as Ginny was approaching, Rita was taken unaccountably ill with what some called a jinx to the solar plexus. In 2017, Rita published a new book, Man or Monster, The Truth About Newt Scamander. Like the rest of her other books, most of it was rubbish with one claim that Newt Scamander broke Serafina Pickery's heart in 1926, something which he revealed was untrue in his own book. And that is all for today's video everyone, thank you so much for watching, please consider subscribing to the channel if it is your first time watching, and if you're a fan of the channel and feel like you'd like to contribute, my restructured Patreon account is up and running, and in exchange for your contribution of a minimum of $1 a month, there are many rewards you can receive, like suggesting one of my upcoming videos, exclusive Patreon only videos for you to watch, and even one to one Skype calls where we can hang out and talk everything Harry Potter or anything in general. So please make sure to check out some of my other videos on the left hand side of the screen. My second channel Game of Thrones lore is on the right hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out some merch, I've got a merch store on the bottom right or you can click the link in the description below. Thanks again everyone and I hope you all have a great day.